Hello, viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are delving into a topic that has stirred quite a buzz in recent years, sex tourism in the Gambia. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our content. Now, let's get straight into it. The Gambia, known for its sun, sand, and unfortunately, sex tourism. My interest in this topic sparked during my visit in 2012, and little did I know, the Gambia had more to offer than its golden sand beaches and vibrant wildlife. One of the hotspots is the Senegambia Strip in Kololi, where local men, often called bumsters, seek relationships with European women, primarily from the UK. What was once a hidden industry has become a significant part of the Gambia's tourism landscape. The scale of sex tourism in the Gambia is hard to measure precisely, but according to recent reports, an estimated 20% of tourists engage in the sexual economy during their visits. To understand why this industry thrives, let's look at some figures. Over a third of the Gambia's 1.7 million population survives below the UN poverty line of $1.25 a day. Tourism, contributing 16% to the GDP, employs about 125,500 people. Young Gambian men, facing limited economic opportunities, use what they have their bodies to survive, now, Let's talk about Kempadu's concept of transactional sex and Cabeza's concept of tactical sex. While some see themselves as traditional prostitutes, many Gambian men engage in tactical sex as a means of income generation, who are the main players in this narrative. It's typically Western women, aged 40 and above, often seeking late-life romance after failed marriages in their home countries. These women, however, are often unaware of the Gambian men's different perspective for them, it's a business, enter the bumsters, seen by the Gambian state as a nuisance but, in reality, essential actors in the country's tourism industry. They serve as tour guides, taxi drivers, and more, contributing significantly to the economy, despite the government's efforts to change the image of sex tourism in the, the Gambia reality remains. The challenges in the tourism industry, including political climate and collapsed tour operators, make this change challenging. Now, Let's understand female sex tourism. Unlike its male counterpart, female sex tourism often revolves around seeking romance and intimacy, with the Gambia primarily attracting the romance tourist. In a patriarchal society like the, the Gambia involvement of Gambian men and women in sexual economies is treated differently. Men can change their status, but women face stigmatization, impacting their social standing and marriage prospects. In conclusion, the Gambia's tourism sexual economy is a complex interplay of economic challenges, individual survival, and societal norms. It's essential to recognize the role of bumsters as more than just a nuisance, but as integral contributors to the country's economy. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, safe travels and stay curious.